Hey guys, I am Aditya Thakur and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make your first open source contribution to a Flutter project. I'll break it down into simple steps, uh, a sort of a checklist to get that first PR merged and let's get started without any further delay. The first step is to find a project to contribute to. Now, this is a very crucial step. Flutter is itself open source. The packages, the different packages that we use are also open source. You can view code for them and take up issues to contribute to. But if you are a student, so how do you get started? How do you make that first open source contribution? How do you find the project to contribute to? For that, there are a number of programs that keep happening from time to time. There is Girl Script Summer of Code. Uh, there is uh, winters of code, a number of um, open source events. Uh, there is let's grow more summer of code ongoing right now. There is Hacktoberfest, which would be coming up in October, uh, where the repositories will be labeled with this tag. Uh, and you can contribute code to them, uh, take up a issue, make a PR. Other than this, I too have compiled a list of projects with uh, active mentor support as well as uh, projects that you know are taken up in the summer of codes uh, all these projects are in flutter so if you want to contribute code to them you can go to the link in the description find the medium article check out the different github repositories and look up an issue that you want to contribute to work on it and make your first pr once you have like selected your project it's time to go through the description of the project check out the readme of the project everything about it would be there all the different uh, project admins the names of them would be mentioned if you want to reach out to them also go through the contribution guidelines because it's really important to know uh, what are the different steps that you need to follow before you make your first contribution and you can reach out to mentors all of them would be listed there as well now the next step is to look up the issue there are there would be a number of issues that are open some would be made by the project admins themselves and some would be opened by other uh, students or other fellow developers so you can look up an issue comment on it if you want to contribute to it as in if you want to work on a particular issue comment ki, uh, something like I want to work on this issue and one of the mentors or the project admins would assign it to you. Once you are assigned the issue, uh, go ahead and fork the repo, then clone it to your computer and there are different ways you can make modifications to a Flutter project. For Android Studio, you can directly use the version control available on the Android Studio, paste the repo link and it would clone it for you. Or if you're working with VS Code, you can use the terminal. But what I like to do personally is use GitHub Desktop because it would work for both. GitHub Desktop would clone the repository to your machine. So once you have the project files, you can go ahead, open it with the editor of your choice. You can use either Android Studio or you can use VS Code for it. Open the project. Before making any changes, make sure you have pulled all the code. Since this is a new fork, I don't have to do that. But make sure you switch to a new branch, create a new branch called onboarding screen and your name with it make the changes as required for this particular project i was working on the onboarding screen so i needed to add some asset files i needed to add some images i needed to make some changes to the home screen so that onboarding screen is the first one to load up i had to make some changes to the main dart file after i was done i also needed to add a package uh, i was using this package called swiper so after i was done with the changes what i need to do is uh, I need to add these files so I'll use git add dot then I need to commit this file so I typed in git commit dash m with the message of my choice uh, telling about the changes that I have made and uh, after that I need to push these changes so all these changes would be pushed to my fork after I go to github.com I need to create a PR so that these changes can be merged to the main of to the main of the head repository which is the Upcharika official repository there after i have pushed these changes i have also made that pr uh, i will wait 
uh, for the project admins to review it it should take some time and after it's reviewed uh, they would request some changes if necessary uh, they wanted me to add some files to git ignore and also get rid of some uh, dependency files which were uh, which weren't necessary and which was something sort of a local files so i got rid of them and also modified my pull request and after that it was uh, accepted and approved and also merged this is how you simply get started uh, this is a small checklist of how to make your first open source contribution in flutter and that's it for the video thank you so much for watching if you are a flutter developer or if you are uh, new to all this you can join in our community we have a discord community where we would like to take up any questions or queries that you might have uh, the link would be in the description check out other links there as well and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel